Have you ever made your own community lot in Sims 4 and been super stoked to play? Like you equipped it with vendors and an espresso bar and even a little curio shop bar in here. Let me, let me, let me just show you my little curio shop bar. Oh yeah. And you're like, okay, I'm super excited to play, but wait a second. Why aren't there any vendors? Why do I have to hire them every time? So I have a solution for you. It's this really awesome little mod and I'm going to walk you through how to install it and how to get it up and running so that these little stalls plus your bar plus your espresso bar plus a violin player, a piano player, and a whole lot of other cool things get automatically staffed. Don't mind the lady in her underwear over there. Head over to your browser and search Little Sam Sims 4 Mods. Both of these top links are good to use. This LMS Mods will take you directly to the Mods page. This top one, Little Miss Sam, will take you to the Creators page. There are useful things here like how to install mods or mod updates, but we're going to go to the All My Mods tab. There are tons of mods that are used, really useful for making your neighborhoods a lot more lively and interesting, but they're also like quality of life things like small laundry overhaul. So what you'll search for is employee, or you can browse through in the Mod is called Auto Employees Custom Lot Trait. So the download process is a little bit different than some other mods. You'll see that you have the option of using a CurseForge download or Google Drive download. I find the Google Drive download to be easier because I'm always already logged in to my Google account. So that's the one I'm going to walk through. If for some reason you decide you want to use the Curse Forge, you don't have Google, whatever, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a tutorial for that. But for now, we'll do the Google Drive download. If you are not signed in, you'll see an option to sign in up here. You want to make sure that you do that. And what is happening is they are going to give you a zipped folder to download. And it'll pop up right here in your downloads if you're using Edge. They'll be down here if you're using Chrome. But regardless of the browser that you're using, you can always find them in your file folders, your file explorer. You'll want to go and find downloads. And in your downloads, you'll see, oh, this is the one that I just downloaded right now. Right now, it is a compressed or zipped file. And you can't really do anything with that as it is. If you've watched other tutorials, you'll know that you have to extract these files. So you'll right click and hit extract all. It's automatically extracting them to the same downloads folder. Go ahead and do that. And then you'll have this usable folder. You'll see it won't have a little zipper on it. You'll click on it and you'll hit control C. Oops, control C. And you'll want to find where your game files are. For me, it's in Documents under Electronic Arts, Sims 4. And then you'll want to go to the Mods folder. If you do not have a Mods folder, you can create a Mods folder by clicking this New Folder option. But then you'll want to go into that folder and hit Control-V. Oops. So pretend that's not there. I already did this part. You'll hit control V and you'll see that your little usable folder has popped up in your mods file now. You're going to want to go into the folder and the part that's a little bit different here is that you only want the Sims auto employee package file. So you'll click on it, hit control C on your keyboard and you'll go back to this mods folder and hit control V to paste that file and it'll end up right here. Now that you have the files that you need, you're going to want to go ahead and delete this original folder so that your computer doesn't get confused about where to look for the files that you need. 
The next part is to go into your game and make sure that we've done it right. Now that you're at the lot with your sim, you'll want to go to build mode and you'll go to the venue info button at the top left and click this traits panel. So you'll want to pick a trait and you'll have two new ones to select from. Employees lot owner and employees professionals. You'll want to pick the employees professional ones if you want stall vendors and baristas and bartenders to show up. The next thing you'll have to do is go into live mode and click on your doors or arches or gates to allow these employees. So right now I have everything allowed except for violin player. The default is to not allow these employees so you'll have to click on a door or a gate to enable it. Now I do want to mention that in past versions of the auto employee mod, you had to build a fence all the way around your lot in order for it to work. I'm not sure if that's the case anymore, but I already have that set up. If for some reason your stalls aren't getting populated with vendors, try that. Try building a, let's see, I'll show you what I use. You'll go to fences and find one of these little flat, it's just stripping. So you'll see I already have it there. That one's good or this one's fine. The hazard tape, I think the hazard, hazard tape's not base game, but I'm, I guess that. I don't know, but find one of those and build it around your lot. Remember to enable or allow vendors by clicking on the doors and then you'll see them show up. It looks like, yep, there we go. Perfect. Anyway, that's all there is to it. So happy simming if this helped you like and subscribe. Leave a comment if it did not help you, and I'll help you troubleshoot it. Alright, bye!